I suppose I've been influenced a lot uh, by my last few years at YouTube, right? And I could see that the future of uh, television and visual communications is all about increased immersion. So um, not just increased resolution, but increased frame rate, uh, brighter pixels, darker pixels, and um, complete 3D virtual reality immersion in the in the moment, right? So, um, so yeah, a lot of what I'm thinking about right now is involved with efficient manipulation and transmission, distribution of that sort of media. Um, and actually, a lot of things to do with the application of those new technologies in life sciences. Well, 2017 is always about uh, what are going to be the next new sensors providing higher resolution of data, even more data. Uh, what I think might be happening is a sort of merging in between different sources of information to make some intelligence out of it. So how to merge social media data with Google data, with Netflix data, and trying to make some form of intelligence to provide better service for the users down the line. Well, vSense is a research program funded by the SFI, the Science Foundation of Ireland, over five years. And I had the opportunity to, to grow a team of 20 researchers, so postdocs and PhD students, all working in the area of visual computing, so algorithms operating on images. And the big overarching goal is some, to create something that would make visual communication indistinguishable from reality. So if you want to uh, have a, a sci-fi type term, something like the holodeck. Uh, so as a long-term ultimate goal, it would be something like the ultimate entertainment platform. But then you can break it down into um, things like VR, AR, high dynamic range, white color gamut, all of these things that, that are components that together would build something like this ultimate entertainment platform. I think we're going to see a lot of steps forward in the reuse of video. Um, video tends to be thought of as a very linear type of, of, of media. We're going to be looking at how we can recompose it at runtime. We're going to be looking at how we can transform it across languages so that uh, we, we can actually have a global reach in, in real time. And we're going to be looking at new techniques of, of really how to, to pull out specific pieces of it and then to, to really make it more personal for an individual, to allow them to, be, to use it. Well, we're expecting, of course, uh, 4K to you know, uh, come to maturity, uh, 8K is around the corner, and the reason why there's this push for uh, more resolution is because we have VR, okay, so especially I'm interested in uh, cinematic VR, so the likes of Google Jump, for instance, when you have loads of cameras uh, shooting in all directions. and. Right now, we only limited 4K resolution, which, which seems quite a lot, but when you look at VR, you look at every single angle of the space, so you need to have a lot more resolution, something like 16K, which obviously we don't have right now. I think my prediction for video 2017 is, is that ability to look at video not as a completely edited thing, but to start looking at the little bits that were created and figure out what might be of value. And I, the prediction for me is to be able to tune in on the bit that's of value to individual users. Enjoy this video? Click here to get the latest news from SiliconRepublic.com and go find us on social media.